I'd say fine Monday morning, but it's it's very dark, a little bit gloomy today. So I hope you're okay. I hope you're well wherever you're watching from. Today I'm going to be making with you um some little sets, so some gorgeous little bracelets and some earrings. Now we are using gorgeous gemstones and we're using chips and round beads as well. So they're going to be really simple to make and very, very pretty. And I do hope you like them. I'm going to take you over to the website. I'm going to talk to you all about gemstones as, as I usually do. I'm going to give you some little facts along the way. And then we're going to get down and get ready to start making. So drop me a comment. Where are you watching from? How are you doing? I'm hoping it's not too noisy. The bin men have, or the bin people have just arrived. Um, so usually they collect them a little bit earlier, but at the moment it, it's all going on outside. So I apologise if you can hear some bleeping and whatnot. Uh, good morning to Sue. She says good morning, everybody. Good morning to Janice. Hello to Carol. Good morning to Lucy. Hello to Joy. And Mina's in as well. She says it's cloudy in Leicester. Good morning to Marcia. She says good morning from a very sunny um, Germany. Vice. Bedden. I know I'm buttering that pronunciation. I do apologise for that. Um, I'm being greeted by lovely Debbie as well. Janice is asking how my little man is. He's all right. Husband or child? Um, husband is fine and child is fine as well. He's got a cough that he just can't shift. Um, and I, I've started to get a little bit of a cough, but I feel absolutely fine in myself. He has gone to Nanny's this morning, so I don't think Nanny's watching, but thanks, Mum, for having him for me while he's on half term. Um, good morning to Camille. She says, good morning, Natalie. How's a little one today? So, yeah, he's good. She's also saying it's a bit cloudy where she's watching from. Tutu says, hello, Natalie and everyone. It's rainy in Hawaii. Um, good morning to Tracy. She says, hope everyone's okay. Good morning to Anne. She says, everybody's having a new boiler fitted. <laughs> it's a bit noisy here. Well, I hope it all goes well. And um, it's not cost you an arm and a leg. Good morning to Janice, who's watching from sunny Swansea. Okay, so that's where the sun is. Let's all get to Wales. Uh, good morning to Amelia. She says, good morning, Natalie and everybody. Hello to lovely Lisa. She says, morning, Natalie and all. Good morning to Pauline in sunny Kent. David's in as well from a crisp Frinton. I'm loving these weather descriptions. We've got sunny, we've got crisp, we've... lovely. Uh, good morning to Angela. Good morning to Anne, who's in a very sunny Washington. Good morning to Elaine. Hello to Robin. She says, good morning, Lady Natalie. Checking in from New Jersey. Disappointed that my Philadelphia Eagles lost the Super Bowl. I didn't watch it. I've seen little tiny clips of it. Um, I'm not into sport, but I do like watching a halftime show and I, I like all kind of the build up and atmosphere and things. So I'm sorry for you, Robin, um, but I hopefully, you know, it brought a community together and you all enjoyed it either way. Good morning to Alison. Um, yeah, she says the first holidays, so my first school holidays, so my first live in ages. Well, I'm I'm here even on a on a on a school holiday. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Adeline is in. So is Eileen and is Joe. Hello, Joe. Good morning to Mina again. She says little one is away for the night. Mine or yours? My little one's not away from the night. I'll be going to pick him up in a little bit. Um, Camille says mine's just dull. That's her descriptive word for the weather. Uh, Angela says it's cloudy near four far, but not being outside to see if it's cold. And good morning to Claire. Yeah, I've not had to go on the school run this morning. It looks cold. Um, it's very, very overcast, but I've drawn the curtains across just in case. So there's no shadows on the mat. But I do feel like I'm sitting in the dark a little bit. Right. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee and I'm going to take you over to the website so you can see what we've got for you today. They're very, very lovely. So head over to totallybeads.co.uk. As you know, you can access the video tutorials in a number of ways. I showed you on the last live how to change your currency as well at the top of the page if you need to do so. And today we're doing precious gemstone. They are beautiful. 
So when I started putting these kits together, I started off with e rings. But you're going to get so many chips. I just thought, well, it's just such a quick make. Let's do a bracelet as well. So we've done gemstone bracelets before, but I don't think we've done them quite like this. So look at all your beautiful colours. There's six to choose from. Now there is 10% off and that 10% is going to be with you throughout the week. So if you would like to get these, get your hands on these gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone chips. Don't forget you're getting the chips and the rounds in your kit. Then I would suggest you make the most of that 10% off. So they all do slightly vary in price. Obviously, each gemstone is unique. Some are rarer than others. So price obviously does depend on which kit you choose. But we've got amethyst, fluorite, lapis, mookite, turquoise howlite and unikite as well. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful colours for you. We've got um, three on the gold colourway and three on the silver colourway. So you'll see your amethyst, your fluorite, and your turquoise howlite are on those silver findings for you. And the lapis, the mookite, and the unikite are on gold coloured findings. So you've got your clasps, your crimp beads, your collots, and all those things, and your ear wires in those colours. So let's head into the amethyst, which is seven pounds and 79 pence you can see in your kit today you're getting all sorts you're getting your ear wires you're getting your lobster clasp your crimp beads and your collots and your jump rings so you'll be able to make your earrings and a bracelet you're getting about a meter of tiger tail so absolutely more than enough there you can make these bracelets however large you like you can make those earrings as dainty or as dangly as you like. I think I probably use about 30 centimeters in total for the pair of earrings, about 15 centimeters of the tag tail each, and my bracelet. I've made them to fit around an eight inch wrist, um, but again, you, you can change that up and, and do whatever it is that you like. So all of those beautiful findings, including your um, gemstone round beads and your gemstone chips. I'm going to show you some of the pictures, just going to, do I put one on? I'll put one on at the end and I'll show you how gorgeous these are. So these are your amethyst. This is how your bracelet looks. These are your earrings. I've positioned them in a beautiful little smiley face. And I've also gone oh, shock face at the price these are seven pounds 79 so your amethyst obviously i've spoken to you a lot about the properties of amethyst before because it is such a a well-loved stone i've used it quite a lot of times so amethyst is a type of quartz it's found in all sorts of places all over the world sri lanka siberia brazil uruguay nambia the far east australia and america but the largest source was found in south america i think so it comes from the greek word amethystos and it means sober or not intoxicated it's been used for well over 2000 years um lots of people have adorned themselves with this beautiful beautiful stone have a little look into the mythology of amethyst because it's really really lovely the way it supposedly got its color this absolute beautiful purple um but it is very good for peace and cleansing and calming and serenity and trust but of course it means not intoxicated the name so a lot of people um used to believe like the ancient greeks have said before have made like um goblets and drinking vessels out of this so they could drink their wine and and not feel a little wary the following day so that is your gorgeous amethyst set for just seven pounds and 79 pence a bargain then we've got the fluorite i love fluorite it's absolutely beautiful again everything in your kit your ear wires all of your findings your tiger tail your gemstone round beads which is what we're going to use to kind of bring the bracelet in together and then use those chips as kind of a lovely kind of kind of flow along your bracelet and you're also getting your gemstone uh, chips as well so your fluorite 
absolutely beautiful. It is a calcium crystal. So it was first referenced way back in 1530. And the majority of deposits of this are found in South Africa, but you can find it in the UK, the US, China, Mexico, Argentina, all sorts of different places. Um, so you've got those beautiful colours within your fluorite, you've got your kind of greens, your purples, your clear colours, lots of different shades. They're really, really, really beautiful. And it's good for clarity and mental enhancement. So a lot of people use this when they're studying. Um, it's good for decision making and peace of mind. So lots of lovely properties attributed to your fluorite bracelet today and your earrings too. Five pounds and 81 pence. So you can see that's got your 10% discount on already it should have been six pounds 45 and i think for a gemstone bracelet and a pair of earrings five pounds 81 is just a phenomenal price and they're all very popular as well so you know if you're gifting these or or maybe selling these products then they are a really good one to get i would say your money back with um this is your lapis now lapis is is one of my favorites it's probably one of the most precious gems in history it was discovered about 4000 bc it represents power and wisdom in many different cultures and it was originally discovered in afghanistan it actually um was mined in one of the world's oldest mines for over seven thousand years which is just phenomenal so it's a metamorphic rock so it's composed of your lazarite which gives it that blue color it's composed of sodalite calcite and the pyrite and it's the pyrite that gives it those beautiful gold speckles so if you're never not sure whether you've got a sodalite or a lapis look for those little gold speckles in it as well and then you'll know you've got your lapis. So it was favoured by lots of people, but including the ancient Egyptians. And obviously it, it's so regal looking, it's beautiful. So it's good for opulence, wisdom and self-expression. It's blue as well, so that's your throat chakra. So it's good for kind of empowerment when you, you know, you've got something important to say. Absolutely beautiful. Lapis today for you for £6.71 pence bargain then we've got your mukite now mukite is just it's absolutely stunning and this kit today is four pounds and 95 pence which is, is just unreal so this is an australian jasper it's from only one place in the world which is mooka creek which is in western australia i've written myself some notes because i want to make sure i'm getting all of these facts right for you um so it's believed to have been formed in the cretaceous period which was 145 million years ago and mooka means running waters so it's named after kind of the area in which it's found. So this Mooka Creek with these beautiful kind of running waters around it. Obviously, you know, it's those a mix of colours, but those colours are, are mainly kind of like your root chakra, I think. So it's very good for grounding, connecting with nature, um, enthusiasm and accomplishment. And it's also meant to be good as a, ste uh, a stress relief. So you've got... Um, you know, if you're feeling like you need to get a little bit motivated, then this is a good one for you with the Mookite. It's also referred to as the companion stone as well. So it's meant to kind of form um, new friendships and kind of rejuvenate old friendships as well. And it alleviates feelings of loneliness, apparently. So that is your Mookite, £4.95, pence. absolutely beautiful for a set that's going to make you a gorgeous bracelet and a beautiful pair of earrings as well. And that is on your gold findings. And we have our turquoise highlight. I love the colour of this. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. So it's a dyed howlite. So it's got those properties of howlite, but also the additional properties that are attributed with the colour. So it's a very calming stone. It's meant to remove rage and anger and is very, very soothing. It's also known as the friendship stone as well. And it helps achieve your goals. So um, if you know you're thinking, I would 
I've got something in mind that I want to achieve. It could just be organising your jewellery and your um, crafting stash. Then maybe wear your bracelet while you do it. Um, it's mined across the world in Canada, the USA, Germany, Turkey, Mexico. And it is a borate mineral. So it was first discovered by Henry Howe in 1868. And then it was renamed, um, I'm not too sure by who, I can't remember. Um, and so they, they named it Howe. Light and it's just really, really gorgeous. You've got that absolute beautiful turquoise color. Um, I do love how light you know it sometimes referred to as the imitation stone because dyed it can take on the look of so many other beautiful semi precious stones, like here with the turquoise. But it's so beautiful in its kind of in its own outright form it, it really doesn't need to pretend to be anything else other than what it is it's gorgeous so it's usually a white color with kind of veins and things put through it but it, it's absolutely gorgeous so that one is five pounds and nine pence with your 10 percent offer today again getting everything you need in your kit all of your findings your ear wires your tiger tail those beautiful six millimeter gemstone rounds and a string of gemstone chips as well and lastly, but by no means least, we've got our Unikite. The Unikite bracelet and earring kit today for you is five pounds and 63 pence, a bargain. So it is an altered form of granite. It's composed of a few different uh, materials, the feldspar, epidite and your quartz so it gives it those kind of green and pink colors really earthy really really beautiful it's referred to as the stone of vision um, it's from the unica mountains which is in north carolina and it's meant to provide balance comfort calmness compassion and love and again when you've got these gorgeous earthy tones running through it with the pinks and the greens then it's a very good ground in stone as well. Five pounds and 63 pence. So that's a little bit about the gorgeous, gorgeous gemstones we've got for you today. There's six beautiful kits to choose from. And I hope there's something there that you all like, I hope so. I'm gonna scan um, back up through the comments very quickly and I'm just gonna say a, a good morning. I knew I was waiting for that comment, Lucy, and I, I will I will explain that in a little bit. Um, so what have I missed? I have said good morning to Adelina and Eileen and Joe and Mina and Camille. I've said hello to Angela. Uh, hello to Claire. Good morning to Linda. She says hello, Natalie. Lovely and sunny here in Spain. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Lucy has shared the link for you today. So we are totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook dash tutorials forward slash precious dash gemstone dash set. Thank you. Bit of a mouthful. Just click on the link. You'll find it really easy. Uh, Birgit says, um, it's a nice good morning from me to the lovely people here. Hello to you, my lovely. Um, David says he's bought them early. Lucy's asking, where's the pink? I'll, right, don't blame me. I I did make a rose cord set up. Um, and then we were kind of playing about with making sure we had enough of all the materials and um sorry why don't you lucy i know you've got rose quartz i know you'll have rose quartz in your stash get the fluorite kit and pair it with the rose quartz because that would look gorgeous or get the turquoise howlite and pair that with the rose quartz because they'd be a gorgeous combination as well um Tutti says, I just love these stones, so many uses for them. Um, Mina says, yours as mine is in school next week is half term here in Leicester. Yeah, half terms are all over the place. When I used to work in education, I didn't have a little one. Well, I did, but he wasn't at school, so I didn't have to worry about oh, when am I off, when's he off. Um, but yeah, I hope he has a lovely half term. Claire, Sue, Claire Lou says, my favourite crystal is rose quartz. Well, we do sell rose quartz on the website, so do head over. I don't know if we've got the rounds in. I think that's the problem. You might need to have some faceted ones instead. 
but I will be doing some makes with you not too long away and I'll definitely try and include the rose quartz for you. Good morning to Francis. Um, Camille's asking how do they dye the stones? It's a good question Camille, I think they just they dye them with different pigments and things like that. Um, I'm not too sure exactly with the turquoise how like, but I think it's quite porous so it takes on that colour really well. Um, Angela, I will see you later. She says um, she's going to rewatch um, back later. Well, you'll see me. I will see you. But she says she's loving the lessons. Patricia says, morning all. She can't stay, but she loves these. She's put her order in. Have a lovely day. Patricia, you can catch up really quickly on how to make these. And um, <coughs> excuse me, they're dead straightforward. So you won't need much um, tuition. Tuition, is that the word? Teaching with them. You can just do whatever you fancy with them. Um, Lucy says she's going to tell the warehouse off now. You do that, Lucy. I did try. Um, and Mina says, you've got enough beads in your stash, Lucy. Stop stressing about it. Um, and Claire says, can't keep the pink away from us. I know. I oh, know. I mean, I've got it. No. <laughs> Go onto the website. Have a little look. Um, I would I would definitely pair it with the kits. I would maybe get yourself a string of the rose quartz chips and maybe... You know, you could pop the turquoise highlight rounds in amongst them and they'd look gorgeous. You could pair them with, I say the floor, right, would look beautiful as well. Um, Mina's asking, what size elastic can we use making stretch bracelets with the chips? Your chips have only got quite a small hole running through them. Um, so I would imagine a 0.6 elastic would probably work quite well with this Mina. Um, you could try a 0.8 and see if it's a little bit sturdier, but obviously each chip, each gemstone is different, but each chip is different as well. So I will show you them down on the mat now and I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So for example, if you were to pick the turquoise highlight, those chips are a little more chunky than say these gorgeous dark amethyst ones here. So you might find depending on which one you go for, um, you know, a different size elastic might work with different ones. Um, Claire is asking, would a toggle clasp work with this? Is there any time a toggle clasp would work for bracelets? Yeah, absolutely. I've used a lobster clasp on this. I've used a lovely little dainty lobster clasp, but you can use a toggle instead. All you would do is do exactly the same when you're attaching your findings and then just attach your toggle clasp onto your jump rings instead of the lobster clasp and that would work exactly you know the same method of, of, of making so these are the beauties I'm going to just show you the bracelets so you can see so for example this is the unikite you've got the most gorgeous kind of browns pinks greens look at those beads can you see the beauty on that? It's just gorgeous. Your fluorite is obviously made of numerous different colours. So you've got little bits of pink in this one too, Lucy, and other pink lovers. Um, Claire, I know you love a pink as well. They are tend to be more of a purple, but obviously you get lighter shades in that as well. So that is your fluorite. You've got your mookite, which is gorgeous. I mean, look at the different colour just on that one alone. You've got a very kind of like creamy coloured, brown coloured. You've got yellows in this. Absolutely stunning. Claire says, I've been rumbled. <laughs> Mina says she's got a few strands at Christmas. Well, this is something that, you know, if you have got some in your stash, um, but I would definitely say get these kits because they're a bargain. You're getting your rounds as well in this. You're getting a six millimeter rounds as well as your chips. Ah, Camille says she's got a string of the turquoise highlight. It's a bit too dark and she's not made anything with it yet. Well, why not make some lovely earrings? You can see here on this bead, just the beautiful kind of veins that run through this stone. And you can make them as big and as dangly as you want. We're going to have to get going because look at the time. I've been chatting on to you for that long about it. So 
They're your beautiful colours. Oh, okay, before before we do finish, I need to show you the lapis. Look at the lapis. So you can see it looks like soda light in terms of the fact it's got kind of more kind of a, a lighter kind of grey blue. And you've got these real dark royal blue colours as well. And you've got little gold flecks in there, which is your pyrite, also known as your fool's gold. And it's just stunning. They've adorned all sorts of kind of like amulets, jewellery. I think they even used to crush it into a powder um, and make kind of eyeshadows and things of this in the ancient Egyptian times. Adelina says they're all beautiful. They absolutely are. Right. I'm going to show you how to make the bracelet first and then we'll make a quick pair of earrings. So I'm measuring out, you're getting loads of tiger tail. So measure whatever length you want. I would say probably about 20 centimetres is enough for me. Um, and I'm going to cut two lengths of the tiger tail with that. So I'm going to hold them together and just line them up. So I've got about two lengths, the same length. Just going to run that through my fingers just to straighten it up. So I'm going to start off with my findings. So I'm going to use the silver findings because I'm going to use the fluorite, I think, today. Now, another gorgeous thing you can do is if you look at your beads and your chips, you'll see if you've got something like the fluorite, or even the mookite, they've got a real difference in terms of colour. So what you could do is you could select and kind of group your colours together. So you could make through your bracelet, I haven't done it here, I've just done a mix, but you could make it through your bracelet so it kind of has like a, an ombre kind of effect. So you could start off with maybe your paler coloured ones, moving into the green, moving into the purple, adding in the blues, and you could change those colours that way if you like. I'm just going to put them on any which way today in terms of time. But if I, if I hadn't rambled on for so long, I may have spent a little bit of time just picking out the smaller and the larger and things like that and the different colour gradients. But you will see they are very different shapes, very different sizes. Look at the bit of purple in that one. They're all gorgeous. I do love a gem chip and I think this is a really good way to utilise them in your jewellery. So I'm going to start off by adding my little collot. And I'm putting to both of the lengths of the tiger tail through that. And then I'm going to double crimp. So I'm going to get two of my crimp beads out. And I'm going to put my crimp beads over both of those ends of tiger tail. Now, if you want, you can stagger your tiger tail strands rather than line them up straight together. And that sometimes helps you just pop your crimp beads over. And then you can line them up again once they're on. Come in with your pliers and just give that a little press and pressing both of them down to flatten them both out. So moving it up to the end of the tiger tail. I'm going to use another crimp bead, I think, because I just know I'm not going to get that one straight. And I want to make sure this is nice and secure. So adding on my other one. Got a little bit of fluff stuck to my finger. The fluff does not come with your kits. So I've pressed those down and then I'm going to add on my um, collot again. If I need to trim off, I can do, but I think I've held that close enough to the end that I can just close over my clock with my fingers and then give it a little push together just to make sure those little holes are lined up nicely. Good morning, Lorraine. How are you doing? Right. I'm now going to open up my gorgeous string of chips and I'm going to pour loads of them out onto my mat. I'm then going to select, as I say, you can choose the colours if you want. Look how purple that one is. 
how dark it is. Look at the variation in colours on these. Absolutely stunning. That one's a beauty. That's got your purples and your blues on it. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to start off with getting quite a small chip. And I'm going to place the one chip over both ends of the tiger tail and bring that right up to the clasp or my clot, which will be my clasp. And then I'm going to separate out, separate out my lengths of tiger tail. So I've got one sticking up and one sticking down. And I'm just going to add on in any way I fancy in terms of colour for this one. I'm just going to add on my chips. And I'm going to add them onto both ends. Now, when I'm doing my kind of little um, chip sections here between the beads, I'm going to probably put on about two centimetres of the chips on each strand. If you want to, you can make this longer. So you'll get in seven of your gemstone rounds, I think, in your kit today. So you can add five into your bracelet and then you've got one um, each for each earring that you do. So if you want to, if you want to make this bracelet a little bit longer, you can just make those sections longer because you are getting a hell of a lot of chips. So, you know, you don't need to use these sparingly. You can you can be generous with them. But I think they look nice with just, um, I'm going to put on about two centimetres of it. So I'm just going to start lining them up, pushing them down together. And so you can use any size you want. I tend to just start off with um, the smaller ones. And I'm just finding the hole in the middle of the gemstone chip and then just bring in my tiger tail through each section. Obviously, there's no point counting. I've put so many chips on this end. I'm going to put so many chips on the other side because all your chips are going to be different sizes and shapes. So they're going to take up different amounts of room on your tiger tail. So all I'm going to keep doing every now and again is I'm going to come in with my ruler and I'm going to see if I've got about two centimetres, which I think I do there. Yeah. So I'm going to push them all along together so they meet that little clot at the end. And then I'm going to get out some of my absolute stunning round beads, which again, will be in the same um, gemstone. So if you've chosen the lapis, you're gonna get the lapis rounds. Here I've got these beautiful fluorite. So I'm gonna take my bead and I'm gonna thread both of my tiger tail pieces through the bead. And then I'm just gonna gently pull on the end of those tiger tail pieces, just to kind of create a little looped shape. So both individual strands going through separate strands of the chips and then both coming together through the center of the bead. And then I'm just gonna continue that pattern, adding on my chips, adding on about two centimeters in length of the chips. and then back through the bead. So it's a very simple technique, which I think just gives a very pretty, delicate look. And if you're using your like larger sizes of your chips, you can make that chunkier looking. If you wanna use the smaller chips, then you're making that maybe a little bit more delicate looking. Finding the whole in the gemstone chip, there it is, and just sliding them on. Really, really easy and really straightforward to do. Again, I'm just gonna keep measuring against my ruler. It doesn't have to be completely exact, but I think if I've got these little sections around the same length, um, it's just a bit more pleasing to the eye. So I would say 
that one is at about two centimeters and I think I'll add an extra little one onto that top row another gorgeous bead and bringing it back through the middle Judy says simple but gorgeous it's really really pretty and you can flare these out as much as you want really but I think it's just giving that lovely kind of texture by using both the chips and the rounds Good morning to Phoenix Creation. She says, I'm late as usual, but the Sprocker Meg wanted out. I <laughs> hope she's well. I um I don't know. I've been been dreaming a doggy since we talked on the last live. I very much would like a doggy, but it's having, you know, that time to to put in walking them. Um does give you a purpose for walking, but I don't know. I I think my little one would would love another dog, but I'm I'm still heartbroken over my German Shepherd. So um, yeah, I think I need a little bit of healing first, and a little bit more time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pop that one to the side because you can see if I bring that tiger tail up through there. There's only a tiny little bit of the hole there and I don't want it to get knocked. I've got loads and loads on my strands so I don't have to worry um, about running short. I am going to pick out some of the smaller ones, I think. My desk is just going to be covered in the most gorgeous, gorgeous gemstones. Joy says, it's a very pretty bracelet. Thank you very much, Joy. They're absolute bargains today don't forget you're getting that 10 percent off for the week so if you want them i'd say you get them today so you're not disappointed if the one that you want is then out of stock um but if you you think you know you're watching on the live a little bit later and you're catching us up don't panic you've got that 10 percent discount off for the week so I'm going to just keep going with this, see where we're up to with time. They're a very quick make and the earrings are really quick as well. So I'm not, not too concerned about time. Back in with my ruler, again, measuring about two centimetres there. Good morning, Edward. How are you doing? And I'm going to add another one of my fluorite beads onto both of those tiger tail, pushing that up creating those kind of lovely little kind of looped kind of bunches, little clusters of my gemstone chips and then back on again onto both ends. So for me, I think for an eight inch bracelet, which is, is usually a little bit big for me, I'm using about five of the gemstone rounds. Um, if I want to make that longer, I mean, you can always add an extension chain onto these bracelets if you wanted to, um, you know, if you want to adjust the size of them, but you can also just add on more of your gemstone chips maybe do three centimetre clusters instead, and that's going to give you a lot more length. I just love how, how unique and different each one is. Like that one's almost perfect triangle shape. They're also very lovely. I do love a chip. And I think, you know, they can be really versatile for what to, to kind of make with them as well. But if you love a gemstone, I would say the best way to use your gemstones is in jewellery. Because then they're on your person. You've got those beautiful kind of properties that are attributed to them. 
um, close to you. And it's just a, a really lovely way of using them. I mean, I do have a whole lot on, um, you know, on display, like towers and spheres and things like that. But when I have beautiful gemstones, my favourite thing to do with them is to use them in jewellery. Look at the colour of that one. Can you see the greens and the purples on that? Absolutely beautiful. So again, you can choose the larger sizes, whatever you want. I tend to put um, the slightly larger ones in the middle of my cluster and then the smaller ones towards the bead. Um, but it really doesn't matter. So I should be now just adding my last round on. So I'm just going to measure that again. Pick one of those whiter coloured ones out. And maybe finish with some smaller. Back through both ends of the tiger tail through the bead. Just position them so I'm happy. And then I'm going to finish off with my two strands with the uh, gem chips on and then back through one of the gem chips before I end and pop on my little clasp. So let's, let's get some different colors out. So again, you can kind of play about with the color of these as well. If, as I say, if you've got something like your moon kite, which have got, you know, those beautiful different warm tones running through them. You could kind of pair your yellow ones together, moving into the red, moving into the brown. You can do the same with the fluorite as well. Um, and you're probably going to have enough chips to be able to group the kind of purple coloured ones together. But I do think it looks lovely as a little mix. <laughs> Camille says, you know how people throw money in the air? I can see you, Natalie, doing that to all those gemstones. Yeah, like, is it was it Scrooge McDuck? Did he used to sit in a bath of gold? Well, I'd sit in a bath of gemstones. Um, I do throw money in the air. I throw money <laughs> all over the place when it's, when it's gemstones. I'm like, I'll buy that one. I'll buy that one. You can never have enough. And there's, there's always what I think I've got every possible type of gemstone and then I'll find something and think, oh, I've not got that one. Earth's treasures. Absolutely love them. OK, again, I'd say that's probably about two centimetres for my little loop. So then I'm going to pick up another one. And I'm going to go through one chip with both of those tiger tail ends so it's looking like this now all I need to do is add my findings on again so I'm gonna take my calotte just gonna measure that against my wrist this one's gonna fit me perfectly but again you can always add a little extension chain onto this if you want to or make it larger using extra uh, crystals and extra chips I'm going to pop my calotte over both tiger tail strands. Then I'm going to pop my crimp bead on. You can also create that shape you want to make sure you've got the tension right before you crimp this down. So I'm just making sure that, you know, the chips are fairly close to those beads. 
and then give it a little press together. Add on another crimp bead. Again, you can stagger the ends of the tiger tail if it's easier to get it on. So I'm happy that's fairly secure now. I'm going to come in with my cutters and trim off any excess tiger tail. Close that over with my finger and then press it down together. So at this stage, if you wanted to add a toggle class, you can do so. You've got beautiful little um, 10 millimeter lobster clasp in your kit. So you can add that on. Um, and again, if you wanted to add an extender chain on, then obviously your lobster clasp is perfect in allowing you to do that. So I'm just gonna open up my lobster clasp, check it's um, you know smooth and it can open with ease. Open up my jump ring. I'm going to slide my jump ring through the end of the clot. Add on my lobster clasp and then close that one over. And then the same on the other side with the jump ring. And close that one over. A really straightforward, simple make to give you an absolute beautiful little bracelet. Camille says it might be a bit painful sitting in a bath of gemstones. It might be, yeah. Uh, what size is the jump ring, says Claire. I'm using six millimeter jump rings. Um, so I, they're just my, my go-to size. And then your clasp is just gonna fit onto that. And you've got that beautiful, gorgeous shape running through it. Tutu's giving me hearts. Thank you, my lovely. Right, to make the earrings, we've got 10 minutes left. This is how straightforward and quick they are. I can make a bracelet and a pair of earrings in like less than 20 minutes. So I'm getting my ear wires out and I'm going to cut my tiger tail again. I would say for something this size, I'm going to use about 15 centimetres each. So you need about 30 centimetres in total for your tiger tail. So I'm going to cut my tiger tail against my ruler. I mean, I'm getting a metre of this in my kit. So I've got loads. If you want to make them like really statement and dangly, you can do that. So I'm just measuring out my tiger tail against each other. So I'm using approximately 15 centimetres for each one. Oh, thank you, Ruth. She says, please press the like button, everybody. Really appreciate it. If you enjoy what we do, then yeah, of course, hit the like button. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a heart. If you are watching on YouTube, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. That means you can find us on Totally Beads each time we go live and you won't miss a thing. Thank you very, very much, Ruth. Really appreciate that reminder. I always forget. Yeah. Right, okay, to make my earrings, I'm going to do exactly the same in terms of just threading on my chip. So what I'm going to do is, again, you can kind of sort these out to size if you want. You can put your smaller ones on towards the top of the earring around here, and you can graduate them in size so your larger ones are at the bottom, or you can just put them on however you fancy. I'm going to take two of my beads and I'm gonna take hmm, I mean I'm gonna have a little look at the color they will be the same gemstone so it doesn't matter you know if you've got one which is is darker in shade than the other um if I show you the um mukite ones I've picked similar colors for them but Obviously, something like your gorgeous Unikite, they're all going to be slightly different. Um, you're going to have a different patination, colour, saturation on those. So you might have one more green, one more red. Ali's asking what size the round beads. These are six millimetre gemstone rounds. So I'm going to start off just picking up my gemstones any colour that I like. I'm thinking, should I have picked a different one 
rather than the fluorite. But as I've got the fluorite all over my desk, then I'm, I'm going to carry on with them. So I'm picking up my gemstones. As I say, I'm putting on um, the larger ones kind of in the middle first. You can do these together at the same time. So if you're thinking I would like to kind of match the tone and colour off them a little bit more, um, then you can do them at the same time. So all I'm doing is just sliding them on to that little piece of tiger tail. Oh, that one's a chunky one. Look at that. Ooh. So I'm just picking them up, adding them on. Just so gorgeous. And I'm going to keep kind of filling that tiger tail until I get the kind of size and length I want. So I'm keeping bringing those ends up together just to kind of gauge how large I want these loops. And once I've made one, I'll hold the other one against it and just check I'm getting a similar size and shape. So if I can take, let's do the turquoise highlight. Let's show you those. So each time I've kind of shaped one, kind of just put the other on top to make sure I've got a similar shape and size with them because as I say you know there's no point saying I've put 14 chips on this one and 20 chips on the other because all your chips are going to slightly differ in size so what I would tend to do is I would start to put the larger ones on first and then start to move up um, the tiger tail with the slightly smaller chips. And I tend to put them on each end as I go. Um, doesn't really matter, but just to make sure they're kind of evenly-ish distributed. And then when I'm happy with the size of the loop that I've got, or the size that my E-ring will eventually be, so let's get one out already. Let's match it to that one. Here's one I've made earlier. Then I will just hold it against or next to it and just check in terms of size. And then I'm going to bring both ends of the tiger tail through that one bead again. And then I'm gonna pull those ends taut and just give it a little shape with my fingers before I pop on my finding, my ear wire and my calot. Um, have you used gemstone with your wire art as well? Um, also, did you get the email? Not too sure what the email is you're referring to, Phoenix Creations. If hmm, I don't think I did. I will double check um, if you've sent me one. But to the question, do I use my gemstones with my wire art as well? Yes, that is my absolute, that's what I do. That's my speciality. So um, I have a page called Rock Scissors Paper. You are most welcome to check that out. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. And I make um, wire wrapped jewellery with beautiful gemstones. And that is my absolute favourite thing to do. That is my passion. That's what's got me into jewellery making. And that's that's what I, I do I'd say weekly, pretty much every night I have to make something, otherwise I get itchy fingers. But yes, absolutely, please do feel free to check out my makes. Um, I've tried to start updating my shop and things lately because Facebook settings have been a bit meh. Um, morning to Elaine, she says, good morning, Natalie, that fluorite is gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, ah, 
I don't know if you've got my right hotmail address then. You can email me Phoenix Creations at Totally Beads, which will be, um, blah, 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 blah. I think I'm just naturally at Totally Beads. Let me just check for you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just naturally at Totally Beads. So you can always email me on that way. Um, thank you very much, Lucy. Um, or if you want to click on this link that Lucy's kindly popped up, you can always send me a message on there as well. If it's pictures of your dog, you must do. And if anyone else has got a dog or a pet or a make that they've done, please, 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 please send me um, what you've been doing. I'd love to have a chat with you. Uh, Lucy says, speedy fingers. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. You have got speedy fingers, Lucy. I can't even say. If Lucy could just, before I finish my sentence, you've popped on a link. Um, you can also find me on Natalie Patton. Patton is spelled P-A-T-T-E-N. Um, and you can find me on Natalie Patton Wire Artist on Facebook as well, where I share all the links to these makes that we do today. Okay, so I've pushed down and got the shape that I'm after with my tiger tail, created that little loop. All I'll do is just keep pulling it up and making sure I'm happy with how that's positioned and the shape that I've got. I've popped on my calotte, in goes my crimp bead, doing exactly the same to kind of secure it as I did my bracelet. So I'm going to want two crimp beads on, staggered that tiger tail just a little bit so I can get that on easily enough and I'm going to push that down and then I'm going to come in with my cutters trim off the excess so I didn't need 15 centimeters there at all but what I've done is I made sure I've got enough that gives me a good grip so I can kind of get hold of it I'm actually going to cut that a little bit more And then I'm going to fold over my calotte as usual with my fingers. Try and make sure that they're lined up before I close it over together. And then it is just as simple as adding on your ear wire. So giving that ear wire a little flick up at the end, sliding on my calotte and closing over so if you want to make a really quick pair of beautiful earrings a little bit of tiger tail goes a long way so this was the bracelet that i've just made i've only made one earring today because of time but can i see the one gone i mean if you wanted to add one less round on as well you could always make a little pendant and you could have a pendant a pair of earrings in your bracelet but i just think they're absolutely beautiful ah okay it's got lay them in the email address from lucy that's my personal one yeah um so i don't know i'll check in case it's disappeared into like junk or spam or something i don't know why it would have done but i have checked it this morning and i didn't get any didn't get pictures of a lovely doggy i will double check um uh, hello hannah she says morning all these look great i'll watch back later and tutu is giving me the hearts so absolute bargains for you today i am gonna go back over to the website because you need to see the prices of these. You've got 10% discount today on your precious gemstone sets. So we've got the gorgeous amethyst for seven pounds and 79 pence. We've got the fluorite for five pounds and 81 pence. Lapis is six pounds 71. Mookite is four pounds 95. For a bracelet and a necklace, a bracelet and earring set is just, ridiculously good we've got your turquoise how life for five pounds and nine pence and your unikite is 563 so if you need to change your currency don't forget you can do so really easily tap on your currency converter at the top change it to whatever it is that you need and you can down and again see those absolute bargains for you today i hope you've enjoyed them i know i have i always do um 
So thank you, Lucy. This is what we've been doing today. If you need to find those gorgeous makes, head over to Totally Beads website and find them there. Camille says, very pretty make. Thank you, Natalie. Have a lovely day. The sun is just coming out. Um, thank you, Tracy. She has a great tutorial, Natalie. Thanks. Something really easy, but something really beautiful. Again, I just gemstones are my absolute favourite thing to work with. You're getting something which has been created from the earth. For these prices, I just can't fathom it. You know, it takes millions of years for these beauties to be created. What is a precious stone? What is a semi-precious stone? To me, they're all really precious. Obviously, you can get a lot more of certain ones than others. But for me, the fact that they're all unique, they all have their own beautiful colour and properties attributed to them. I think to make jewellery with these is just... Oh, it just fills me with joy. So I hope it's filled you with joy as well. I hope you like them. I hope you get your kids. Um, and I will see you on Friday. I'm going to be making, I think I'm making necklaces with you on Friday. Um, they're very, very sparkly and very, very pretty. Um, right. Okay. I'm going to check Phoenix Creations. Thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely week, 